everybody, and welcome to Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. As you can see, we're together Yay! in Champagne. <laughs> Today is uh, May 28th that this is airing. We are landing in Detroit from Heathrow Airport. So obviously we have filmed this way ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> Almost a month. Yes. <laughs> uh, just so we don't miss a week with you wonderful viewers. So. Uh, this is Julie, my phenomenal daughter, and we've been demonstrators for over 20 years. Julie hit the 21 year mark. I will hit it this fall. Um, uh, actually, next month. Oh, next month. Okay. See, I'm all, <laughs> my dates are all messed up. So anyway, uh, <laughs> so we're back and then um, we will be heading back here to Champaign and just a couple of days for Claire's graduation. Ah, well, I think we didn't get to do was really stamp a whole lot. No, we didn't. It was just busy, busy, busy. But okay. we got to stamp today with Yay. you. And so we're really excited to share with you. So oh, absolutely. why don't we switch the camera over to the desk and okay. we'll talk about the products that we're sharing. I'm really excited about this new suite. I am too. <laughs> Okay, so the suite we're using today is Fresh as a Daisy. It's on page 110 and 111 of the May 2023 to April 2024 Stampin' Up! annual catalog. And this one I think is probably one of your favorites, isn't it, Mom? It most certainly <laughs> is because daisies are my favorite flower. Yes, I, <laughs> I love this suite because it features the new in colors, Copper Clay, Wild Wheat, Boho Blue, Moody Moth, Pebble Path, and a little bit of Pretty Peacock. And we've got some other... Um, colors in there like some garden green and um, I don't know what this light green is I swear it looks like just jade <laughs> but, but I think maybe it's supposed to be Lost Lagoon um, anyway gorgeous colors in this week gorgeous projects we've got some designer paper stamp set and die bundle and these new embellishments which include three colors um, I think it is lemon lolly boho blue and copper clay um, I don't know that I've used these yet. They're faceted gems. Mm. What are they called? Adhesive backed solid gems, but they do have a little facet and a little, little bump to them. Uh, well, let me show you the star of this suite and that is the designer paper. I kept it 12 by 12 so you can see that this sheet has these little, I don't know what you call them, like little sections yeah. um, that are just different like vignettes. Um, I just love that one with the pink and the white You know daisies. what, I made cards up using this page and forgot to bring it up. Oh no! <laughs> um, Dang. So I love that you can cut that apart and use it. And then you have some gorgeous designs here on the other side that again feature those in colors. So beautiful. These two are pretty similar. This one has a lot more yellow in it with the little, um, those aren't black eyed Susans, are they? Like, well, they look like black eyed Susans, but I don't know what they are in the little miniature form. Hmm. Uh, I guess these are more, well, these have side daisies too. I don't know. Anyway, they're different. I just wanted to point out they're very similar, but they are different, those two patterns. And then this one with the moody mauve and the wild wheat and um, bubble bath, the new pink. This one's so pretty with the boho blue. So, this is another one where it's kind of like you need to see the whole sheet. Um, to see it because the flowers just kind of come from the bottom and then I I don't have a full sheet I cut it <laughs> of this one but this does come in 12 by 12 and the opposite sides all have these brush strokes with those in colors um, so the five in colors and then this one has got some like um, pretty peacock garden green kind of mixture there so beautiful and nice to layer with the other patterns and we've got our design or our designer paper our stamp set is a two-step stamp set photopolymer stamps and then um, we have coordinating die so we've got some really beautiful dies that coordinate or die cut the stamped images and then some that are detailed um, that kind of add a nice um, nice touch to everything else and then I like that little stitched label. Uh, so let me show you some samples using this suite. I got quite a few. It was a popular suite for pre-order swap. The first two are ones that I made using the detail die cut here in the background and the other detail die cut. I stamped on the paper and used some of the in color gems on this one in copper clay. And here's another one where I layered the die cuts. So that's gonna be these two images here. Layered those on top of each other and then stamped and die cut the, um, the center. The leaves come from the larger die cut. I just die cut um, twice on some green paper and I left the inside in instead of popping it out. I just kind of let it be there and, and taped it on the back. Um, and then here's a swap from Jennifer Cotton. 
this pattern I think was the most popular in my swabs. I, I didn't even bring them all out to show you. This one's from Teresa Tucker, doing some embossing on the crushed curry cardstock. This one is Ruth Bingle. So she colored the die cut. And this one, Tracy Jacobs, just kind of highlighting that designer paper. This one's from Betsy Kreider, die cut daisies. I love that with that color. And then this one from Sandy Carlson, just uses some of those detailed die cuts. So just two of them from that big piece. And the last card is from Jody Reinert. I love how she just let the designer paper kind of be the star of the show. Yeah. So many beautiful things to do with this suite. And I can't wait, Mom, to see your project. So Thanks. let's uh, let's let you bring your stuff over. Okay. Okay. So as Julie and I talked about, uh, this is like my favorite suite mm -hmm. so far. Um, and so I'm using it. And I made a bunch of samples and left them at home. So I apologize for that. So I'm taking a piece of the designer series paper, 12 inches by four and a quarter. I'm scoring it at one inch and six and a half inches so that this piece is the five and a half as you fold it over. I also have a piece of pretty peacock at five and a quarter by four inches, a piece of basic white, which is five inches by three and three quarter. And I have a piece of lemon lolly, three inches by one half inch and a piece of the copper clay. I started off with about a four and a quarter by three inch piece, and then I die cut it okay, with awesome. this um, stitched, radiating, radiating stitches, stitches <laughs> which is really just, I, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. This is one of the online exclusives that came out in March. Yes. And while we're filming it, I think it's currently unavailable, but I think by the time the video airs, it should be it back It should be in back stock. in stock, if not shortly, shortly soon after that. So I took this die right here on my copper clay piece. So that's what I'm using. And I really like the edging it gives. It just adds a little texture to it. So that's what I used for this. I'll put these aside and we'll go ahead and get started. So um, I also stamped a daisy in copper clay. That, um, I will die cut. Actually, I've already done it, but I'm going to show you what I did to it. And I'm going to take a blender pen and just kind of pull some of that ink from the center. Or from the bottom, kind of towards the center. I love this technique. It's just so subtle and really... Just adds a little bit. Yeah. All right, then I'm gonna take some lemon lolly. I'm gonna use that again in just a minute for our greeting. Uh, it makes Julie nervous. It does. Oh, no. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna take a, a little bit of lemon lolly and put that in the center. And then through the magic of television, there it is. Ta -da! Ta -da! All right, I'm gonna take my basic white little piece here. And I'm going to take the smaller of these in copper clay in this corner and do the very same thing. Just take this little blender pen just a little bit to give it some interest. Goes pretty fast. And then I'm going to take the, very, the little center, flower center, and just stamp that in here. All right, and then I think this is done. Nope, I need my, oh, I need this greeting. Um, oh, I gotta clean it. All right, <laughs> apparently we're using the same <laughs> greetings again. Literally like the exact same stance. Oh my all gosh. All right, so I'm gonna, while I'm waiting for that, <laughs> I'm going to stamp You Made My Day, which I probably should have done, pre-done this one too. Let me try it again. This is real difficult to stamp at this angle. I know, on camera. Yeah, Put it up. Pretty good. pretty good. Yeah, all right. And then the inside greeting, which is, um, well, let me get it. I can read it <laughs> Your better. Friendship means Your friendship everything. means everything. So we're going to just go ahead 
And <laughs> as Julie is closing upstairs, <laughs> I think yes. All right. Oh, so I, I believe love these colors. Yeah, I believe our stamping is all done now. And we're going to do some assembly. Oh, it is not done. I forgot one little extra thing. And I need the copper clay. And I'm gonna, I do want a little piece of this grid paper because I will go off the sides here a little bit. And I'm just gonna stamp. Oh, hold on. There's the hair, I got it. And I'm turning that over. <laughs> you why are you turning it over? Because I missed. <laughs> so, there we go. And maybe one over here. And then maybe one over here. Quick side note about the grid paper. This is the new in-color grid paper. And I like a smaller pad. I'm missing our small grid paper. So I just cut that grid paper pad right in half with my big paper cutter. That's I kinda, awesome. Yeah, I kind of like the smaller. Grid, that is so very awesome. If you're wondering where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we're going to take some adhesive and I'm going to put this. This is going to be our inside, by the way. Gosh, there's just hair sticking to everything. There it is. I think I got it. Is there another one? Yep. <laughs> it fell on the floor Ooh. and I just picked up dog hair. Oh. Okay. Thanks, Julie. <laughs> All right. So we're going to put this on. Not upside down. Not that it matters at this point, I don't think. But we're going to go ahead and put this on our... And so this is kind of a, um, a matchbook, if you will. So let me just get some good creases in here. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. I don't know that I would have ever thought to put these colors together. Mm, would I you? Think they're really pretty for fall. They like are. A peacock and a sort of copper, yep. the, the rusty copper clay color. Yep, there we go. So there's our inside all done. Now we're gonna work on our outside. And um, I'm going to kind of put this down in this. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Holding it up off camera. I do the same thing. Got to copy exactly what I did before. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put this down right about there. And then I'm going to put our our flower here. And then it's I'm going to uh, banner cut our edges. Do you need to have it loose at the bottom to tuck the paper under? Or? I do. And hopefully it's loose enough. <laughs> I think I debated about what to do edgewise, and I just love this little banner cut. So, mm -hmm. and I obviously, you know, because I wasn't sure what I was doing, I used a little bigger piece of lemon lolly than was actually needed. But that's okay. I like it bigger. If it's too small, it's hard to stamp on. It really is. Okay. So that is going to go right about there. So we're going to use some dimensionals now, which Julie so nicely got out for me. Because as is our usual, the car is packed. <laughs> <laughs> We're squeezing in one video. Yeah. It was a busy weekend. It was, yes, it was. Very busy. But wonderful. It was such a good weekend. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and put some dimensionals on here as well. I can't wait to see your project. I didn't, I didn't show her what I was doing until after I got here. And I really am not quite sure what she's doing. I think I'm mm -hmm. gonna put this up here. Okay, 
Now I'm going to use some of our in color glossy dots. And I really, I've been burning through these. The other side. Other side, yeah. Um, well, I'm just gonna tear the whole thing right apart. Uh, <laughs> I love these too. They're my new favorite. Yeah, I love they that really just are. Kind of flat, and they have got all of our favorite new colors. Exactly. <laughs> That's it. Exactly. Is that they're? I, I like the fact that they're flat. I should have brought a tool out, but I didn't. All right. Let's put another little guy right with him. Uh, let's rub a little bit. And then the medium guy, I, I find myself using like one of each size, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out where I put the other one here. There we go. So I'm going to put, oh, <laughs> put this right about there. So the other thing that I uh, brought out of Julie's, because mine is sitting <laughs> in a box on my table, is this uh, 23 to 25 in color jute trim. So just, uh, you know, it's interesting. We haven't had jute for a little while. So what I did is I took the copper clay. I'm gonna, I want you to show how thick it is in comparison. Oh with yeah, the that's a good idea. Threads. All right, because originally I was gonna put a linen thread bow on here, which would have been fine. Um, but just to show you the difference, if you can see it. So this is pretty thick mm -hmm. compared to our linen thread. So I thought maybe it might be a little too thick for a bow, so I to um, peeled it apart. Oh. <laughs> Let me get the, <laughs> the post-it nose. So I just kind of pulled it apart. I love that look, just sort of like. Just to fray it a little mm -hmm. bit, and I'm just gonna kind of um, take a glue dot and put it there. So, um, thank you. Yes, I was just gonna trim this a little bit. Oh. <laughs> and actually, I wonder if I should split this a little. just to kind of untwist it a bit, just to have some um, texture on it. Oh, thanks, Julie. My old eyeballs aren't working real good this morning. All right, so I'm gonna just kind of stick this here. Let me get this all out of the way and clear this up. And then this is going to tuck under here. So this is the card, card front. So fun. And then the inside. I love that. So there it is. I love how you can see both the inside and the outside of the designer paper. Yeah. Designer oh. paper card bases are awesome. Yes, they are. And I haven't done it too often. So I'm going to move out of the way now. Yeah, I was just going to say, this one's laying flat. You can oh, yes. It. And I yes. don't know, it's just a different cut of the paper. Yes, it, it has is. more green at the bottom, and it just sort of like sticks, yeah. sticks out a little more. That is a little bit different. So you can take whichever one you oh. want. <laughs> All right, awesome card, Mom. We're going to switch everything over on the desk right. now so I can share my card. There you go. Okay, my card is a fun fold too. I love that we both did that this week. Um, I was inspired by a card I received in a fun fold card swap that I participated while I was in Utah. This one is from Jackie Bullheis. And I've seen this card before. I'm not sure what it's called. It just kind of has a belly band and then like a like it folds out. So I dissected Jackie's card to get some measurements so that I could make my own version and share with you. So we're going to start with a card base that is five and a half by 11 inches so we're going to use almost a whole sheet of cardstock score at one and a quarter five and a half and nine and one quarter and then we're going to do some designer paper to decorate the different panels so on this panel we're going to have three and three quarter inches by five and a quarter that's going to be on the inside uh, also on the inside four inches by five and a quarter and then we're going to have some designer paper pieces for those flaps so this one is one and a quarter by five and a half and then we've got two, and these are just flip sides of each other, that are one inch by five and a quarter. This is a great uh, fold to show off some coordinating designer paper. For our belly band, I've got a strip that is one inch by 11. And then look at that, I'm also using <laughs> the radiating um, the radiating stitches dies. This one is from the smallest 
of those rectangular stitches. Mom used the larger one on her project. I was gonna use a different die, and then I went to get it, the scalloped uh, yeah. contours, yeah. my go-to, and I found these in the in the spot. I didn't even realize that you had used them on your card. <laughs> I also have a one and three quarter inch circle and a little piece um, of white scrap to do some stamping on. So let's do our stamping first. And then we'll work on putting our card together. So uh, we're gonna stamp on the inside, we're gonna stamp and die cut, and then we're gonna stamp on the circle for the sentiment. So this is the inside piece. It is, again, four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to stamp, you made my day. <laughs> kind of, I know, the inverse though. I'm using that on the inside. Oh, <laughs> and I'm using the other one on the front. Your friendship means everything. I kind of debated on whether that was dark enough on this cardstock, but I think it is. I, I think, think you it can, works. Yeah. I think you can read it okay. If you're concerned about it, you can always do like a white embossing um, and change that up a little bit. I'm going to do the large daisy, and this is going to be die cutting, so it can go anywhere on our scrap. I'm also going to add one in the corner. And <laughs> so far, I'm looking a lot like yours, Mom. We both got daisies. <laughs> and then uh, for the center, I'm using some wild wheat which is the same color as the cardstock. That is really, that's really off. I'm gonna do that again. Oh, all right. So what I love about our designer paper, there's two sides and if you screw it up, <laughs> you can always redo it. Okay, for the die cutting, I am gonna bring in some of the garden green. It's one of the colors in the paper and I'm gonna stamp two leaves and then die cut those with the coordinating cheerful daisy dies Whoop, just like that <laughs> not so easy not so easy in real life but i i mean it's not hard in real life but i just did it ahead um so that you wouldn't we wouldn't have to fuss with the die cutting machine all right one more thing we're going to stamp and that is the card base i've left my wild bee open because we're going to do some stamping on that card base just like jackie did um, I'm going to start, let's see here, folding this in half on that crease line. And then, um, well, maybe the other way. I always, I always get this, I always get this confused. I think I did want to go the other way. And then we have our large flap in the front, and then this one folds over the front as well. So we sort of have these two flaps. It's like two check marks that nest inside of each other for the fold, okay? So that is our card base, and this is the bit that I wanna do the stamping on. So now that I've got it folded, I can kinda of see that. I'm using the smaller daisy, and I'm gonna do this in wild wheat <laughs> on the wild wheat cardstock. Oh, it makes me laugh. I know, right? <laughs> right down the side well that was kind of like jackie had that stamping on there and i sort of like that so um all right and and then yeah we always end up doing the same things yeah so mom's mom's got the little little daisies <laughs> got for clay oh okay so now we're ready to do some to do some gluing let's start on the inside so this white piece is going to be where we'll write our message that's going to go on the main the main inside panel and then the large paper pattern here with the daisies. And this is going to go on the other panel. Oh no, it's too big. That's all right, we're gonna get a little paper trimmer. And I might have... Wow. I'm so glad it's not just me that <laughs> messes up like this. <laughs> okay, so that should be three and a half inches by, we'll have the right measurement in the video description, but this is three and a half inches. So I just had to cut a little, I cut a quarter inch off, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, second guessing myself. A quarter inch off of there. All right, now the other ones should be right, I hope. <laughs> Um, I've got uh, this this piece. I wanted to have the solid color next to the busy pattern, so we're gonna do that over here. 
And this is going to show in the front as well. On this flap, I've got one for the front and one for the back. That's why we've got two of these. So the one that has a solid color is going to go inside. I, I suppose you could do the green on each side. This is actually a different pattern than that. So I just kind of wanted to even that out. So that's the inside and then the front, I'm gonna have a little touch of that green and daisy pattern. Okay. Loving it. Mm -hmm. Next up, we're gonna use that belly band and we are just going to wrap around our card fronts. And instead of pre-scoring, I'm just gonna kind of just eyeball it, I think, because the card itself is four and a quarter. And so if you score it, you might, you know, like it needs like slightly more. Yes, like four and a quarter and a little bit more. Yeah. So I think just wrapping it is probably the best way to go. I brought in some tear and tape um, to hold it closed. You definitely want to use something that is strong adhesive to um, to keep it from popping open. And so I'm going to add that to to one end. And that's just going to adhere onto itself like that. We want it to be tight enough that it's going to keep the card closed, but you don't want it to be too tight that it, it is hard to slide up and down. Next, we have our radiating stitches label. And this is going to go on, I don't know, I think probably with Stampin' Dimensionals, although you very much could just use the, um, the tear and tape. So first, let's get it decorated. We're going to have our, um, our daisy over here and our circle. Which way do we want to have the daisy? Do we want to have the daisy on? I feel like the daisy on that side pops more without the different patterns. Okay. But then what do you think about the circle being? I like it that that way with the daisy to the left, but do this way. Know, do it whichever way you want it. Like which is my left? This way. Is that the way you like it? I like it that way. I think I like it that way too. Okay. okay. Um, I don't like, this is too much gray all in one. Um all in one place. So we're going to break up that, break up that gray. All right. I'm going to use some dimensionals on the daisy. You want to put your leaves on the daisy? Or? Um, I'm going to kind of tuck them underneath. So okay. I'm going to add the, the daisy in the corner. And then I like, I like the little glue dots on the end of the leaves. And then, cause these are so tiny. Yeah. that like they're not going to stick out very much so that we can really like maximize yeah. <laughs> maximize that um let's scoot them a little bit maximize that um that color and then the circle is going to go over here so i i knew this was going to hang off so i just used one um just one circle all right, so now this is going to go on here. What do you think? Dimensionals? Tear and tape? Well, since you've put dimensionals on the flower and the circle. And it's already kind of big. Maybe just some tear yeah, and tape? I, I would use tear and tape. Okay. I don't want to try to guess the right place here since this is only one inch. So I am going to use my tear and tape yeah. right onto the belly band in the center where I know it's going to get covered up. And then we'll just add this right on top. And we can move that belly band if we want it high, if we want it low. I think I, I, think I like it a little higher there instead maybe of in this. So, I don't know, yeah. maybe. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever way you want it, there's the finished card. And then inside, we've got all that beautiful designer oh, paper. a nice card, Julie. Thank you. Do we need to bling it up? I always am. <laughs> you know, that's... Uh... Well, where did those in color? These are the ones that come in the suite. The Although I don't think there. these the colors color. don't really go with my card no, mm -mm. so much. So mm -hmm. let's bring in those in color gems that mom used. Um, and probably the pebbled path. What do you think? Or the, where are you going to put them? I don't know. <laughs> either, either the wheat ones or the pebbled path. Again, depending on where you want them. I'm kind of. Oh, then definitely the pebbled thinking, path. Thinking, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, wonderful. Oh, yay! yay. <laughs> All right, well, let's flip off the, uh, let's flip off, let's flip off the, let's flip the camera, and 
and we'll show our cards together. Oh my goodness. I love the way our cards turned out. This suite is just so beautiful. And I especially love that it features the end colors. Mom used copper clay. I used wild wheat and pebbled path. And then some other new ink colors like lemon lolly. Um, so I think Fresh as a Daisy is a fresh new suite to you add know, to your collection. I just want to point something out very quickly. So um, as you saw when we were stamping, we were using a lot of the same yeah. images, <laughs> die cuts, but look how different they look. I know. Amazing. And I just realized this stamp has a two-step. It has it like does. a solid version. Neither one of us used no, it this we didn't. time. <laughs> I, I, I think we were both going, well, I definitely was going for more of like a white, yeah. um, white daisy. So I love that you can yeah. use the outline for that and then you can color it in and yeah. use some some other things. Do, do daisies come in other colors? Oh, well, there's Gerber daisies. So yes, true. they do. Yes. So. <laughs> I think that ink colors are perfect with this fresh as a daisy yes. suite. Very earthy. Um, just so beautiful. So I know, yeah. I know you as well as I will be using this so much oh, yes. um, in the coming year. I'm so excited to see this in the annual catalog. I am too. <laughs> well, we're going to wrap this up so we can get on the road. <laughs> <laughs> so until next Sunday stamping with Susan and Julie, goodbye everybody. Have a great week. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye mom. Bye guys. <laughs>